Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations. b squared plus b plus 1 is equal to a and a squared plus a plus 1 is equal to b. Our job is to find all possible values of a and b. So let's start. From this equation, if we move this b to the right hand side, then this will become b squared plus 1 is equal to a minus b. Let's call this equation equation number 1. And from this equation, if we move this a to the right hand side, then this will become a squared plus 1 is equal to negative a plus b. Let's call this equation equation number 2. Now we add these two equations, uh, equation 1 plus uh, equation 2. So this negative b will be considered out with this uh, positive b and uh, positive a will be considered out with this uh, negative a and this will become a squared plus uh, b squared. 1 plus 1 will become plus 2 is equal to 0. Move this 2 to the right hand side, then this will become a squared plus b squared is equal to negative 2. Let's call this equation equation number 3. Now from equation 2, we subtract equation 1. From equation number 2, we subtract equation number 1. We write down here equation number 2 first. Equation 2 is a squared plus uh, 1 is equal to negative a plus b and below this equation we copy this uh, equation number 1 that is b squared plus uh, 1 is equal to a minus b and we subtract these two equations since uh, we are subtracting this uh, positive sign will become negative. This positive will become negative. This uh, positive will become negative and this negative will become positive. So this uh, positive one will be cancelled out with this negative one and uh, this will become a squared minus b squared is equal to negative a plus uh, negative a will become negative two times a and uh, b plus b will become plus uh, 2 times b. Next, a squared minus b squared is equal to, from these two terms, uh, we can factor out negative 2. In bracket left, a minus b. And this uh, a squared minus b squared can be factorized as uh, a plus uh, b times uh, a minus b. And we move this uh, negative 2 times uh, a minus b to the left hand side. This will become plus uh, 2 times uh, a minus b is equal to 0. As you can see, this expression a minus b is a common factor. So we factor out this uh, a minus b and uh, in bracket left uh, this uh, a plus b and this plus 2. In bracket left uh, a plus uh, b plus 2 is equal to 0. From here either this expression a minus b is equal to 0 or this expression a plus uh, b plus uh, 2 is equal to 0. From this equation, if we move this uh, negative b to the right hand side, this implies that uh, b is equal to a. And from this equation, if we move this a and this 2 to the right hand side, this implies that uh, b is equal to negative 2 minus a. Now we recall, we recall equation number 3. Equation number 3 is uh, a squared plus uh, b squared is equal to negative 2. 
क्वेश्चन थ्री इज ए स्क्वाड प्लस बी स्क्वाड इज इक्वल टू नेगेटिव टू वी आल्सो कॉपी हेयर इक्वेशन थ्री ए स्क्वाड प्लस बी स्क्वाड इज इक्वल टू नेगेटिव टू फर्स्ट वी सॉल्व दिस वन इन दिस इक्वेशन वी रिप्लेस दिस बी विद दिस वैल्यू ऑफ बी ए सो दिस विल बिकम ए स्क्वाड प्लस अगेन ए स्क्वाड इज इक्वल टू नेगेटिव टू वन ए स्क्वाड प्लस वन ए स्क्वाड विल बिकम टू ए स्क्वाड इज इक्वल टू नेगेटिव टू एंड वी डिवाइड बोथ साइड बाय टू so this two will be cancelled out and this two will be cancelled out and here left one so this will become a squared is equal to negative 1 and from here we take square root of both sides so this square will be cancelled out with this square root and from here we get that a is equal to plus minus root Negative one. Next, a is equal to this is root negative one is equal to i. So this will become plus minus i. Now to find the values of b, we recall that b is equal to a. We recall that b is equal to a. so b will be equal to b will be equal to same this value plus minus i so from this case uh, we get two pairs of solutions a comma b is equal to the first pair is i comma i and the second is negative i comma negative i now we solve the second case now in this equation we replace this b with this value of b negative 2 minus a so this will become a squared plus value of b is negative 2 minus a whole squared is equal to negative 2 by using this algebraic identity x minus y whole squared is equal to x squared plus uh, y squared minus 2xy this will become a squared plus uh, negative 2 squared plus uh, a squared minus 2 times uh, negative 2 times a is equal to this negative Two. Next, a squared. This in negative two squared will become positive four. Plus this a squared, and negative two times negative two positive four times a plus four a. Move this negative two to the left hand side. This will become plus two is equal to zero, and this a squared plus a squared will become two. A squared. This four times a plus four times a. Four plus two will become plus six is equal to zero. Now to further simplify this equation, we divide the whole equation by we divide the whole equation by two. This will become a squared plus two times a plus Three is equal to zero. Next, a squared plus two times a. This three can be written as one plus two is equal to zero. By using this algebraic identity, x squared plus two x y plus y squared is equal to x plus y whole squared. This a squared plus two a plus one will become a plus one whole squared plus two is equal to zero. Move this two to the right hand side. This will become a plus one whole 
squared is equal to negative 2 and from here we take a square root of both sides so this square will be cancelled out with the square root and at left hand side we are left with a plus 1 is equal to plus minus this root negative 2 is same as root negative 1 times root 2 next a plus 1 is equal to plus or minus this root negative 1 is i times this 2 move this 1 to the right hand side this will become a is equal to negative 1 plus minus i times root 2 and to find the values of b we recall the equation we recall this equation b is equal to negative 2 minus a we recall the equation b is equal to negative 2 minus a so b will be equal to b will be equal to negative 2 minus this value of a negative 1 plus minus i times root 2 this will become b is equal to negative 2 negative times negative 1 will become plus 1 and negative times this expression will become minus plus i times root 2 further simplify this will become b is equal to negative 2 plus 1 negative 1 minus plus i times root 2 so from this case we get a is equal to negative 1 plus minus i times root 2 and b is negative 1 minus plus i times root 2 so set of solutions of a comma b a comma b is equal to the first pair is negative 1 plus i times root 2 comma negative 1 minus i times root 2 and the second pair is negative 1 minus i times root 2 comma negative 1 plus i times root 2 and first we found that two solutions i comma i and negative i comma negative i the third pair is i comma i and the fourth pair is negative i comma negative i this is the final answer of this problem